Go check out FIFACoinTrader.com for excellent deals in buying and selling coins on FIFA Ultimate Team. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cody Bo3 here and welcome to this pack opening video on my channel. And for this pack opening, we are going to open some gold uh, 7,500 coin packs. But we're going to be using FIFA points. You see there, I've got like 1,300, uh, around 1,300, 1,400 uh, FIFA points. So I'll be using all of them in uh, this pack opening. And uh, the team of the week, uh, this week is actually quite good. It's got some uh, good uh, standout players. And obviously the big one that I'm looking to try to get is uh, Hazard. He will uh, probably sell for the most, to be honest out of everyone in there uh, but overall it's a pretty good team of the week so it did kind of entice me to want to open uh, some packs but uh, I asked you guys on Twitter uh, what you think uh, I should do in terms of uh, what topic I should talk about for this pack opening and a lot of you guys said uh, to do about traveling and where like I've traveled and uh, your opinions I suppose in the comment section below uh, about where you guys have traveled in your lives whether you're only 10 or you're 15 or you're 20 or you're 25 or you're 50 doesn't matter uh just uh, let me know in the comment section below where you've traveled to or where's the most interesting place you've traveled anyways uh i've traveled quite a bit in my life i suppose the first place uh well i did kind of traveling through moving i suppose because i was born in america moved to italy and then moved to ireland i know it's a massive downgrade uh, through the steps uh from them through i suppose some people think italy is nicer than america but i was born in la so uh it's quite a nice uh, part of america and uh yeah uh, i moved to italy in naples and then i moved to ireland i was traveling uh around uh, them countries when I was there I suppose and uh, most recently I suppose uh, in terms of holidays I went to uh, well I went a lot to Spain you know that kind of family holidays I know a lot of people here that uh, are from Ireland or Britain will know all about uh, going to Spain or Portugal uh, for your holidays and I was no different went with my family quite a bit and I've went uh, I've traveled around Europe I've went uh, I've went uh, from one side of Europe to uh, the other uh, interrailing. I've also uh, I've went like I've visited Budapest. Uh, I've visited Prague, Amsterdam, all the all the big cities, I suppose, in uh, not Central Europe, but not I wouldn't really say Eastern. It's it's in around there, in around Europe. Uh, I've went to London just a couple of uh, weeks ago to see Chelsea versus West Brom. That was actually that was an alright game, but uh, it was fun to go over to London uh, to see them play. I've been over to London, I think, about seven times in the last three years. It's ridiculous. It's either been like for I went once for work, uh, I went once for a holiday. Uh, with the lads after we finished uh, a year in college and uh, yeah I've, I've been to London so many times been over there uh, I've been to I'm going to Paris actually in a couple of weeks uh, with my girlfriend so that should be fun so I'm actually traveling quite a bit and I'm going to Valencia in May to visit one of my friends who's on Erasmus because I have a free place to stay there so all I have to do is pay for flights so yeah traveling uh, yeah when someone at talked to me about traveling I was like yeah I'm actually doing quite a bit of that recently so uh, why not talk about it uh, I've been to Portugal I went down to Faro for uh, my uh, leaving cert uh, holiday which is the equivalent of I'd say your A levels uh, so yeah I've been uh, quite a few places I've been on a lot of planes in the last I'd say three or four years of my life uh, so yeah uh, places I want to actually go are mainly uh, I'd like to go to some parts of Asia <laughs> I was gonna say Thailand but I know it's gonna get uh, ripped down to me but uh, it just looks like a really actually like a lot of beautiful beaches and stuff out there uh, Malaysia I suppose would be a nice place to go I'd obviously love to go to Australia I have some uh, some family there uh, who could uh, not hook me up but sort me out with a job and I suppose a place to stay so I would like to go to Australia one day as well uh, there's just a lot of places I'd like to go to uh, so, uh, South America I like to nearly touch on every continent you know uh, just to see what it's like and visit as many places as I can uh, before I suppose I settle down so I'll probably be doing that uh, hopefully in the next uh, few years or so uh, but yeah some places I wouldn't like to go I don't know I'm not keen on Russia I'd like to maybe go there for a week and just see what it's like uh, see, take in the culture but I don't think it'd be a place where I'd like to you know stay for maybe a couple of months like what I do probably with Australia I'll probably stay there for about six to twelve months you know uh, whereas like you know Russia wouldn't be uh, big on my list uh, I suppose that uh, there's different places uh, I'm not all that keen on going to Africa. There's certain parts of Africa I suppose I'd like to go to, but uh, I wouldn't be mad set on it uh, by any means. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much my story of uh, traveling and all of that kind of buzz. Uh, these packs are wrapping up now. I think this is actually the last pack, uh, so I will leave it there. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening to my babble and watching these packs. Some were good, some weren't. Uh, but that is it for me. If you ha haven't already, uh, leave a like on this video and go subscribe, and I will see you next time.